Hi everybody, you want to look at uh, using transparency settings in Revit. So this works basically on anything, any element, and this happens in override group. So I'm in this view, this 3D section view, and I have these glass cubicles. So what I want to do, I want to grab each one of these cube, each one of these walls with the control key down. I'll select that wall, this one. This one and this one. So I have them held down. I think I missed that in there, but that's okay. We'll leave it for now. And then I'll just do a right click, override graphics and view, and it'll be by element. Now, here we have the transparency tab, and I'm going to just push this guy up to, let's say, 80%. Click apply. And okay. Now, as you can see, the transparency change in these two off this office on the end as compared to these two. So that was just a quick little video. I had a question on transparency, and this is probably the best way I can show you this. And remember, this this works with any element. You can use transparency on anything. Say, so if I grab this wall here, I can do it here too. I can select elements. I will override graphics by element. And let's say I want to make this guy 50% or 49. Apply. Okay, see there, it changed. And then if I want to select it back by element, oh, I just I made it go away. So here I want to select override graphics and view by element. And then I want to push that back down to zero. Okay. So there you go. That's how we work with transparencies. Works the same way. Uh, this is a good example using glass. As you can see, this glass is much clearer now as opposed to this one. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching this short video, and I'll see you next time with more videos.